I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uh, additions or deletions, Melanie? No. Or have any additions or deletions? Okay, legal counsel is not going to be here today. If we need him, he's available by Skype or uh, phone. Um, I don't think our agenda is pretty, pretty generic. I think we got everything pretty covered. But if, if we need him at any time, he doesn't have no he doesn't have no legal updates or executive sessions set for us today. So, with that, um, public comment. And the crowd goes wild. All right, no public comment. We'll get right into it. Um, and what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to vary from the agenda here and get the road department right up, get theirs taken care of, so we can get they can get that back to them. On the road department too. I know that Christy stepped up. Kevin was talking about Christy stepping up on the pilot car deal last on the Dog Lake Lane deal and we thanked Kevin and we thanked Mark, but I want to say thank you too for yeah. stepping up. It takes take the whole crew. And they're um yeah. they're there's a lot of people, the whole crew takes the whole crew, there's a lot of different things. That, yeah. Thank you, Christy. Yeah. So let's start right off. Uh, let's uh, let's get the recycling, which is landfill, not road, the Department of General Fund. Let's get that one taken care of right off, Kevin. Uh, we talked about this yesterday. Um, it's a great thing. Uh, I don't think there's nobody else here unless you guys have additional questions or any more overview. The, the only thing I didn't have for him was whether or not the phones and I didn't, Carson, I didn't get anything back from him. So. That's yeah. fine, no worries. <clears throat> yeah. I think the number of phones coming in will be very limited yeah. because of the value of resale and yeah, everything is there. So would you entertain the motion? Uh, I'll second that. No, you can take the motion. Oh well, I'll I'll uh, to 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 approve it. Yes, I would make a motion to approve it. Okay, you second it, Mark. I second it. Motion has been made and seconded to approve the contract between Lake County and the Oregon State Contractor Program Collection Subcontractor Agreement, as presented and reviewed by legal counsel. Any further discussion? All in favor, say aye. 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 Motion carries. Next item, we have uh, District 3 uh, Road Advisory recommendation. For the record, Kevin, um, you went over this yesterday. Uh, the person that's uh, applying for this position is Jesse Laird. He sat through a road advisory meeting last year as a non-voting member that was recommended by the retiring uh, uh, resigning Member Joe Cahill yep. to move him forward. You're in support of that, so we just need to do it by motion. I'll make a motion to accept Jesse Laird as the District 3 Road Advisory Member. I will second that. Motion's been made and seconded. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Uh, so, potential dump truck purchase. Um, I believe you and James, I had a little bit of conversation at the you and James legal counsel, you guys have all touched base. A little bit different twist maybe on this than well, yesterday. Not we're we're unable to we're unable to utilize that rule exemption to grant authority for a total dollar. Okay. So there are some late breaking issues with these trucks because the truck sale world moves quickly and so that you're aware, this this first one on the list, 2002, sold and gone. Okay. Um, I was just on the phone with the uh, Diesel Depot for this 2004 Freightliner, and we are scheduled to go look at that with them on Tuesday. Um, I'll send a mechanic, probably maybe maybe the truck mechanic as well, and um, pending its approval, maybe we'll see how this truck works out. Maybe we'll bring it home that day or, or the next, but. 
this diesel depot has uh, two other trucks that may fit our specs. Um, so we're going to look at them at least while we're there to gain the information so that I can bring it back to you with the specifics because the legal counsel recommended that we still use that rule. I just need to have the specifics of the truck. And these, they have a couple trucks that they just recently received that have not gone through their shop yet. That's why they weren't kind of talking about them. But as I got into negotiations with them, we talked about multiple purchases potentially, and if these fit the bill, then we can work all that out. <coughs> so good. we'll bring that to you once we look at them. Okay. I'll bring those specifics. So um, this 2004 truck, for sure, um, okay. we're going to go look at. So, so, so uh, it sounds like uh, we need to make a motion on the one truck and leave open the other two for you to build a research and do some on-site yeah. inspections. Yeah, I mean, I, I think I think logically, this other this last truck, this 2007 one, might be a nice truck. It's also in Billings, Montana. So if there's something closer that fits our bill, and in in respects to somebody that we've already purchased from, and we have some hit, you know positive buying history and negotiations with, then we should do that first, okay. re responsibly for the fiscal impact of it. So. Okay. And and um. We don't do it a lot, but if if for some reason we need to run a special meeting to be able to make something happen because of yeah. trucks are yes. coming and going or whatever, we uh, we can do that within 24 hours. I, we did talk to um, legal counsel about that. Uh, he said that uh, um, we, we would be able to schedule um, uh, in an urgent meeting if we had to in order to approve yeah. the purchase of those additional vehicles. Yeah. I, I think though with with uh, talking to him on the phone this morning, the guy from Diesel Depot, with, to go look at this first truck, get a visual inspection and maybe get on the creeper and look around these other trucks on the shop floor, going to give us a little bit of time anyway and this, this organization is understanding of the way we have to purchase things. So, or the, Potential, you know, sometimes delay in purchasing things. So, this this will be a good way to, to go. So, um, I'm going to take a shot at this uh, motion. I'll make a motion to approve the 2004 Freightliner for $79,500 contingent upon inspection and an acceptable by our roadmaster and crew. Yeah. I'll second that. Motion's been made and seconded. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. So that's all my stuff. That's it. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate it very much. All right, get them back up. Ann needs to get out of here. Sure. Let's go with Ann. Obviously I'm not following exactly the agenda. Uh, Ann, you're here on the budget uh, date. Dates and appointment of the budget officer. And the yep, budget calendar and appointment of the budget officer. So as we discussed yesterday, um, it's a very public process. The budget officer is responsible for gathering the information under the direction of the governing board and doing all the proper notifications so that we can encourage as much public participation as possible. Um, the budget calendar is set so we can start getting uh, Calendars marked off for both our department heads and our other committee members um, that are private citizens so that early we can do this, the better planning that can happen. Okay, so the first thing I would like to do is have somebody make a motion to appoint a budget officer. I would make a motion to appoint uh, Ann Crumrine as the budget officer for the 19 to 20, 2019 to 20 budget adoption process. In the fiscal year. I want a second. Motion to be made and seconded to appoint our budget officer as Ann Carmine for fiscal year 1920. Further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. So the second part is is to uh, put into uh, motion the budget calendar which triggers several different notifications throughout. So we need to get that taken care of too. Okay. I make a motion to accept the calendar, budget calendar, 
as presented. Yeah. I will second that. Motion has been made and seconded to accept the budget calendar as presented. Further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Mo aye. Motion carries. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Berman, you want out of here. You know, I kind of like it hanging out here. Maybe we want you out of here. That's true, too. <laughs> Point taken. Um, so, courthouse backup uh, generator award. Um, we went over that yesterday. Also, uh, does the board have any further discussion or questions on that? None for me. Not, none for me either. So, it's pretty straightforward. I'm making a motion to accept the uh, purchase of the generator, backup generator, um, for $66,539. As presented, yes. I believe that's so. I will second that. Motion's been made and seconded to accept the backup generator through a contractual agreement with High Desert Electric, uh, the total cost being $66,539. Any further discussion? Uh, the contract does show what is included and what is not included, as Dave mentioned yesterday. I think you're both very much aware of that. Yes. All right. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Good work on that, Dave. Thank you. Can, I, you very can much. I have this signed as soon as possible so I can give it to the contractor? Yes, sir. Do you, do you have it with you right now? If, if you have a copy with it, with you, that will just, sign just, it. just pass it down the line pass here and we'll, uh, right. we'll sign it right now. While, while that's coming down the line to be signed, we'll jump back up to the top of our uh, agenda. Justice reinvestment um, grant, uh, supplemental uh, grant. This was brought to us yesterday by Caitlin up in the DA's office. Um, as we were told yesterday, uh, it took a while to get the position that the grant funded position hired for, so those dollars cannot be used any, way, any other way. So it's a reduction in that, but it still covers the cost through the term of the grant for the ADA position. So, uh, while you guys sign, I'll make a motion to approve amendment number one to the Justice Reinvestment Grant uh, Supplemental Program as presented. Second. Motion's been made and second. Any further discussion? All in favor say aye. Wait just a minute. I do have one further Okay, discussion. go ahead. Uh, Jake said that he's going to kind of help uh, Caitlin in some areas on those different grants, but I just want to make sure that we all make sure that happens. Yeah, um, what I encourage, absolutely Mark, you're absolutely right. Jake has done us an exceptional job over the years on grants and the funding and everything. So. Um, uh, He's in many different grants. Caitlin is great up there. Um, spend some time meeting with Jake one-on-one, -on -one, each one of us. We prove everything that comes here, but we're not in the middle of writing the grants. So where they interconnect with other departments or other agencies. I just know that he pretty much spends, I know, the month of January. He's going to be writing grants from, for a while. And so, yeah. I just want to make sure that we keep on top of that one. That one's a really important one, and so, as you guys know. <coughs> Absolutely, I, yes. Uh, I would like to add one, one thing to that. Yeah. Um, I spoke with Jake last night um, and discussed the same, the same topic with him. Uh, Jake, is, uh, he has it on his radar, um, but I think uh, I would second that with Mark and just making sure that we do whatever we can to facilitate and make sure that that, that is taken care of because we we certainly don't want to lose the opportunity of keeping our assistant DA on to the following year. Um, there are some other options that we might be able to pursue in order to keep um, Paul on, um, but uh, we don't want to lose that program. So um, 
uh, but uh, come May or June, we'll, we'll be able to know more whether or not we can reapply and get that money. Yeah, it's, it's a legislative year, yes. so it, it, it all depends on... We'll know more in May or June. If they fund that position, Mike, like Jake exactly. said yesterday, not that position. If there's opportunity to get money to fund that position in the governor's budget, there's monies there. Depends on what the legislature does to the governor's budget and so on. So there you go, Dave. Uh, Can I have that? Yes, Jake, Jake does. Um, he does keep. Uh, he usually tries to keep everybody just quite a bit involved. Yeah. So, uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. IGA number 5768. This is an intergovernmental agreement that Jake talked about yesterday. Uh, quite a lengthy intergovernmental agreement, but it basically gets the right parties talking to each other as a cooperative uh, in the tech world, I guess you'd say. The total cost is $431 out of his budget. So, entertain a motion. Make a motion to accept that intergovernmental agreement on the IT. It's uh, number 5768. Six. Yeah. Um, I think it's for the total sum of $431. And yeah. I would second that. Motion's been made and seconded. Further discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. We have uh, a policy that Melanie's brought forward. It's a county policy. The policy is set by the Board of Commissioners for the overall policy for the operation of the county. Individual departments can set their own internal policies, but uh, this policy would be ours. Uh, so uh, we had some discussion about it yesterday. Is there any need for further discussion? Uh, no. I, I just would like to add on the HR side of it that when the people get the job and get the phone that they know that they're financially responsible for that phone in the event that this happens again they're financially responsible for it and so and, and I would just like that for Virginia yeah I think that's a very good point Commissioner and um, the tool this will be is during orientation they should be made aware of that and then there's an exit interview done with employees when they resign quit or terminated and then they follow up at that time also but very good point and that that's what this uh, policy will do is trigger that because Melanie's working with HR side to make sure he has this as part of the orientation and part of the exit interview correct Melanie? So entertain a motion. I make a motion with uh, the correct verbiage in there. Uh, pardon me? I make a motion as long as that verbiage is in there to accept that policy. Okay, so I, I guess. How, how do you want to state it? Um, well, well, we'll second and then we'll get to discussion and we may redo it. Okay. If you want to second it, we'll get to this. I'll second it. Discussion. So, Mark, would you like to add verbiage that the actual policy has that written in there? Yes, that the policy and, and HR presents that to them upon hire and okay. uh, their exit interview. They're aware that they're financially responsible for that phone until we see that the phone is useful to county use afterwards. So I'm, I'm not absolutely certain of how of the verbiage to put in there. Yeah, I'm, I'm not either. absolutely certain of what we can put in there about the financially responsible um, on that. Well, we're going to have to have something, right? Um, I, I think what we may do is uh, uh, 
Are you concerned pull, that they'd return pull, the bone pull, broken? Pull, pull this well, back and have some added verbiage and because we don't have anybody that's coming on right now that we're going to be supplying a phone to, I don't believe. Can we just supply one to somebody? Yeah, yeah so. Uh, but, but like the phone that we're talking about was brought back and Melanie can it tell you it was locked. You can't, you can't use it. It's can't unusable. It. Absolutely. Correct. If they're not financially responsible for that, to at least get us the, the, the password so we can use the phone again. I'm with you 100% if that's allowable, put that kind of verbiage in, into a policy and make, make that. They should be liable. It all makes perfect sense. Can we put that verbiage into the policy, I guess, is where I want to make sure we're able to. Uh, we we just have to have some teeth of some kind. So, Otherwise, so how about if, if we table this until Melanie's able to work with HR and make sure legal counsel says whatever the new verbiage is, yeah. it covers what you want? I'm good with that. You good with that, James? Yeah, sure, I suppose. Um, I didn't really have a, a, any issue with it previously, but uh, yeah, I don't think it would hurt to have HR kind of, if, if that's a concern, to make sure that that verbiage is in there to address the financial responsibility of the phone itself when it's returned. Um, that's perfectly fine with me if we we table this for a little bit of time yeah, and come it, back it, to it. Just word word it a little bit. That's and, fine. And, and that, that's fine. So uh, you want to pull your motion off the table? Yeah. And I'll, so uh, motion's been pulled off the table for further uh, wordsmithing on that. So Melanie and, and Mr. Albert will probably be working together with legal counsel and the HR. So next is vehicle purchase. We had this uh, yesterday, an overview from Melanie. Um, so uh, today uh, we need a motion to accept or not accept the, the quote that we got that followed our uh, contract agreement for the rule policy. So I make a motion to accept the lowest quote from Lithia. Ford in Cloud Falls on the two vehicles for the Sheriff's Department. Um, I would second that. Um, well, I would I would make a motion to accept it as well. I I, I don't have any problem with it at all. Um, we, we discussed this in work session previously. Um, Who do you second? I, I do second it. Okay, so motion's been made and seconded. Further discussion? My only further discussion on, on the issue is, uh, well, actually, I will withdraw that, actually. Um, no worries. I, I will second that fully and no further discussion. All right. Yeah. Motion's been made and seconded. No further discussion. Uh, Total cost uh, per vehicles is um, $32,409 times two, $64,868. Um, I, do, I do have some discussion. I want to make sure that it's captured in the minutes that uh, same as what I did yesterday is now since it's in motion is that the caveat to this is it's contingent. They're going to be purchased, but we need to get those other items sold and get that money in there. Because okay. we're, we're getting right at the budget okay. time, and uh, none of us want to go to the budget committee asking to replenish a whole big chunk of money whenever our budget's going to be tight this year. We need to get that money back in. So anyway, I just want to make sure that was on record. Two trailers and two vehicles to be sold as soon as you department gets them to you and gets it ready. So, um, okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Uh, we have minutes of 1 to 2019. I'll make motion to accept minutes as presented. I, I, I would make a motion to accept the minutes as presented. I have no problem with that. Yes. You second. I'll second. Okay, okay so motion has been made. And Sorry, sorry. I'm, <laughs> I'm doing some. I'm you, doing you, some you, figures in my head. You're hard to cold, hard to start. 
a little bit of giggling going on here. James. Yeah, I apologize. <laughs> no, I, there's no apology <laughs> needed. Right. Motion's been made and second. I threw you for a loop as a chair making some of the motions. It was the sprinkles. Uh, I'll take blame for it. Uh, any further discuss discussion? No. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Is there anything else that I overlooked? Fellow commissioners on the agenda, are we there? Melanie, you see anything? No, that's it. All right, so uh, with that, we will adjourn at 1024.